There's been a lot of talk about the PlayStation 4 Pro recently, but what about the Xbox Scorpio? Well, we now have some comments from the Microsoft Studios Publishing General Manager, Shannon Loftus, and they were asked about the whole 4K thing. As of course, we all know that with the PlayStation 4 Pro, it will be upscaled via checkerboard rendering to 4K. So it's not native 4K. But it seems that isn't going to be the case with Project Scorpio. And Shannon said, quote, Any games we're making that we're launching in the Scorpio timeframe, we're making sure they can natively render at 4K. Now I know some of you are thinking, 6T flops? Native 4K does not compute. Well, there's a few things we need to keep in mind. They are most likely targeting 30 frames per second with this native 4K. Or there's going to be little difference in visuals such as, say, lighting and shadows. It will possibly be texture only with higher resolution rendering. However, it is most likely using a version of Polaris and Vega, which does mean that it might be a lot faster. So let's say, for example, they're using Polaris, that means it is doing more work and more efficiently with the power available to them. So yes, they only have six T flops, but if it's six T flops on, say, Polaris or Vega, that does actually mean quite a bit more than just, say, six T flops on a previous architecture. So it's actually technically possible for them to achieve this on the Xbox One Scorpio interesting stuff I know so let's assume that they're gonna do something similar to certain games like Rise of the Tomb Raider on the PlayStation 4 Pro where you can actually choose between you know 4k and 1080p locks at 30 or high frame rate mode like on Rise of the Tomb Raider where you can have 1080p but with a more flexible frame rate going above 30 frames per second but obviously with native 4k on the 4k option that actually means it could actually be quite the contender to the PS4 Pro if they get the pricing right. Of course, it's not out for quite some time, basically holiday 2017, so the Pro does have a year lead, of course. But let's assume that Scorpio has a 399 price tag or around that sort of margin. It would actually be a really big win for Microsoft and would be the obvious choice for someone who might be undecided. Of course, that does also mean, that one thing to keep in mind, is that Sony would have a year in which to cut the price of the PlayStation 4 Pro. However, if Microsoft really pushed that it's native 4K and whatever other sort of uh, improvements that Scorpio is bringing to the table, that price difference might not be enough because the Scorpio is looking like it's going to be quite, more, quite a bit more powerful than the Pro. Of course, price is definitely a huge factor in which one you buy, but if you had the money for either, then obviously, in theory, you're going to go with the more powerful one, assuming, of course, they have the library of games to back it up. So, potentially, we could have a bit of a turnaround on our hands when Scorpio comes around in holiday of 2017. I'd love to hear some thoughts from you guys, as always. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.